Danas imamo posjetu Austrijske ambasade, gospođe Erike, koja je zadužena za trgovinu u ambasadi Austrije. I nije smo slučajno odabrali Austrijsku ambasadu. Ono što je bitno da znate jeste da je Austrija vrlo ozbiljan partner Srbije. Znači, u 2015. godini je Srbija imala prometa sa Austrijom među oko 900 miliona dolara, ali preko 95 miliona dolara ima ovaj region. Znači, to je više od 10%. I to je u uzlaznoj pripadnju. Jedan ozbiljan broj investitora na ovom prostoru je iz Austrije i ono što smo mi razgovarali danas jesu nekolike teme. Iskustvo austrijsko oko ekonomske diplomatije u kojoj smo mi debelo ugazili ove godine ili budući godina kao pomorski sistem. Iskustvo i praksa njihova kod dualnog obrazovanja koje se pokazalo izuzetno neophodno i potrebno kod nas. Otvorili smo i nekolike teme da i ona prenese onima koji su nadležni, a to su nekolika naša razgovora u Beču, da se povežu fondovi, penzijski i fondovi za zdravstvo Srbije i Austrije. A da to ima posle efekta u dijelu zdravstvenog turizma, banjskog liječenja, koje se pokazalo izuzetno kvalitetno s naše strane u dijelu usluge, a kad se pogleda sa one materijalne strane, ona je za korisnika dva, tri puta jeftinija kod nas nego u Austriji. I već imamo primjere te prakse. I normalno, jedna koja je od bitnih tema, koja je aktuelna u ovo doba, to su fondovi, brisarski fondovi, ali projekt. Znači, ona faza koja nam sad dozvoljava za konkurisanje, kako je to radila Austrija i Mađarska, da taj dio sad preslikamo na Mađarsku i Srbiju. Gospodja Erika poznaje dobro one koji su ovdje investirali, nemaju neke primjedi loših, čak su pozitivne, ali smo mi odlučili danas da joj pokažemo binariju Zvonko Bogdan i otićemo posle gradsku kuću oko 12 sati jer jednodnevna je posjeta, a imamo šta i da pokažemo, a imamo šta i da čujemo i da noći. Mr. President, thank you very much for this really very warm welcome here in Subotica. It is not the first time I'm here, but it's the first time I'm here on an official visit. And um, I found your presentation extremely interesting. I learned about the importance of Subotica um, in terms of economic development in this country. <coughs> and um, as I mentioned to the President, I'm very happy to have such an out, also outstanding Austrian investments here in your city. Zahvaljujem se gospodinu predsjedniku. Ovo je, nije prvi put da sam u Subotici, ali je prvi put da sam u zvaničnoj posjeti Subotici. Raduje me što na teritoriji grada Subotice imamo prisutne značajne austrijske investicije. I also would like to emphasize how positive and dynamic the economic and commercial relations are between Austria and Serbia. The president mentioned the numbers of our export and imports. Imports, they are growing at a very significant rate in the last year and I think it will continue this year. So we see that there's a very positive sign of even more intensive and dynamic cooperation between our two countries. Uh, in terms of investment, um, we are very proud that Austria is the number one investor in Serbia. And um, This is, of course, for us very important because we find that uh, this also opens the doors for us. I would also like to emphasize our close relations with the Chamber of Commerce, the industry of Serbia, and the regional and, and local chambers. 
Precisely also because we, as the trade office within the Austrian embassy, we belong to the Federal Economic Chamber of Austria. Želela bi da naglasim dobri odnose koje imamo sa Privrednom komorom Austrije pa i sa Regionalnom Privrednom komorom Subotica zato što je trgovinsko odeljenje Austrijske ambasade u suštini predstavništvo Privredne komore Austrije u Beogradu. And that's why we're also very happy and we feel very proud and very privileged that the Serbian uh, chamber law, the new chamber law, in a way followed to a certain extent the Austrian model. Izuzetno smo sreći i zadovoljni osjećamo se privilegovanima zato što je novi zakon o privrednoj komori u Republici Srbiji pratio ovaj smenice zakona o privrednim komorama Republike Austrije. And I would also like to add, as I mentioned to the President during our conversation before, that we still find a lot of Austrian companies who are interested in investing in Serbia. There are now more the small and medium-sized companies because the big companies, to a large extent, are already here in the country. And from my, as we, we we hear from the conversation and with our, uh, we will talk and advise the companies. Most of them uh, consider this region, the Vojvodina in general, and of course Subotica also in particular as their preferred location for investment. U razgovorima koje smo vodili o potencijalnim budućim investitorima sa teritorije Austrije na u Srbiji, moramo reći da i naglasiti da su uglavnom u pitanju mala i srednja preduzeća. Velika preduzeća su već uglavnom tu, ali većinom se znači interesuju mala i srednja preduzeća, a kada govorimo o nekom budućem nekoj budućoj lokaciji za te investitore koji dolaze iz segmenta malih srednjih preduzeća, moramo reći da je 90% slučajeva u pitanju kako u Vojvodine, tako i ove regije u kojima se nalazimo. This is not only because of geographic location, which obviously is extremely favorable here, but also because of the highly qualified labor force that you find particularly in this part of the country. Znači, nije, razlog nije očitavna geografska prednost koja je prisutna, razlog je iz Osim toga je razlog zapravo i kvalitetna rada snaga koju nalazimo na ovoj teritoriji. And if you allow me a very last remark, um, as I mentioned, the majority of Austrian companies are small and medium-sized companies. Most of them are family-owned companies, and they tend to think in long terms, and they tend to be very much committed to their community, to their region, wherever they operate as a business. So even in times of crisis, and Serbia, like many other countries, went through a serious crisis after 2008, basically none, none of the Austrian companies pulled out of this country. They stayed committed, mm -hmm. and they tried to do the best out of the situation, and now they stay here also for the upcoming bright future that we see here. The majority of Austrian firms uh, kao porodične firme kada i dođu u drugu državu da postoje odnosno ovde one su posvećene sredini u kojoj žive i odnosno koje postoje u kojoj žive tako to može to se može videti na primjeru kada se 2008 desila svjetska ekonomska kriza da saosvjetske firme nisu povlačile Srbije ostale su izdržale su prvi nalet krize i nastavljaju da funkcionišu i postoje na teritoriji Republike Srbije i ovde na ovoj teritoriji koje se nalazimo u očekivanju uh, uh, which part economy uh, is uh, the most interest uh, from uh, investments uh, from Austria? From Austria. I mean, as it stands now, the service sector is the most important because we have the banks here, we have the insurance companies here, we have OMV as a retail if you consider that um, and the next more important more is the productive industry manufacturing pod jedan najinteresantniji ekonomski sektor jest su zapravo sektor usluga kao što znate prisutne su austrijske banke austrijska osiguravajuća društva OMV koji je sektor malo prodaje pod dva to je proizvodni sektor 
And also, one question, please. Uh, what is the feedback that you get from the Austrian investments here in Serbia? Are they satisfied with, uh, with the Serbia and, uh, and the uh, workers here or not? In general, yes. In general, we get a positive back, uh, feedback. Um, actually, we do an annual survey among our companies and to just to ch get the feedback from reality. How do you see the location here and are you happy here? In general, they see it positive. They see that the economy is growing now. They are, ha they are happy with the availability of good and qualified labor. I don't want to hide also that there are obviously some ne negative issues that come up every year when we do this uh, survey. And that is bureaucracy. I really think this is probably one of those things that uh, we have to work on seriously.